Hi guys, it's Nicole. There's been this trend going around on YouTube lately called trying to become that girl for a day. Basically, think of the perfect TikTok or Pinterest girls that look like they have their lives together. They wake up early, work out, eat healthy, so that's what I tried to do for a day. On the other hand, this girl is also a controversy because some people think it's either motivating or toxic. So stay tuned to see what I think about this trend. Hope you enjoy the video. Good morning everyone. Today I am becoming that girl. I made an agenda of everything I want to do today. First things first is waking up early. So it's currently 7 in the morning. I was really debating if I wanted to wake up and film this video because I'm exhausted. I went to bed at like 2 in the morning yesterday <laughs> because my friends came over. So I'm so tired, but I'm up and we're becoming that girl. I'm really excited to film this video though because I feel like I can be really productive in the next few hours. Oh my gosh, also do not mind my face. I am so sunburnt right now. So like around my eyes, it's really red. But anyways, it's time to get out of bed and get this day started. <laughs> don't really make my bed that often anymore because usually even if i wake up early like throughout the day i'm just gonna still lay in bed and do stuff so i usually don't because i have like so many pillows but it's a day of becoming that girl so i'm gonna put all these pillows on my bed even though sadie's sleeping but it's okay she's just in the corner she's peaceful right here i hate it because it's every day i feel alone and if you surround me I need you now, can you be around me? Oh baby, I'm afraid to feel nothing I know that you can make me feel something Don't tell me To find from a glass screen When the wall crashes down Between the cracks, a reality is found I hate the way we aim for such perfection Just so we get a little affection We seek all of this outside valid I just put on some workout clothes Tank top and biker shorts are from Lulu But next, I'm gonna go downstairs, grab something to eat, and then work out Being honest, there's some things I gotta say Y'all already know I'm gonna eat a Z bar iced oatmeal cookie, the best flavor ever. If you ever have this granola bar, get this flavor. But I plan on having like a bigger breakfast later. But this is just to give me some energy to work out and just you know, so that I'm not starving. I'm also gonna get some water. While I eat this. It is time to do an at-home workout. I have my yoga mat and I'm just gonna pull up some YouTube videos. Probably gonna do some booty and some ab exercises. Those are like the only things that I work out. But I haven't done like at-home workouts in a while. I used to do these kind of often, but like since it's summer, I don't know, I just don't find the time. Throughout the week, I also have dance practice, so I do get to work out like that. And I would say like I'm still pretty active, but I think like these at-home workout videos are really helpful and I see like a lot of benefits from them. But I'm gonna choose some videos and then I'll tell you guys after which ones I use and how they worked for me. Let's look at The first workout video I did was one of Mad Fit's dance workouts. She does like four songs each video and they're so much fun. As a dancer, it's really cool because I get to do dance moves but also workout moves like squats for example. But I've done a bunch of these since she has a full playlist of them and they're so good and I'm always really tired after them. The second workout video I did was Daisy Keach's Quarantine Butt Workout. I've seen a lot of people on TikTok suggest her videos, and this one was also really good. But my butt and thighs were burning after this, so I definitely felt it. And the last workout video I did was a 5-minute ab workout from Lily Sabri. Even though this was pretty short, there were still a lot of exercises, and they were really challenging, so it was a great way to end my workout. Fine, fine. 
I am now more exhausted than I was. I would not recommend waking up at 7, running on about like 5 hours of sleep. Anyways, I'm in a shower because this is just not the cutest look. But I also plan on shaving in the shower, doing some self-care now. Today, my mom's throwing a 4th of July party. It's July 3rd when I'm filming this, so we're having a little party at the house tonight. And then also, this upcoming week, I have nationals for a dance convention. So I thought I would do some self-care, get my body ready. So yeah, I will see y'all after the shower. Face mask time! To do some more self-care, I'm going to use this Glossier Mega Greens Galaxy Pack. This is a detoxifying face mask and I've used it a few times and I really like it. To be honest, I don't really know what it does, but it doesn't like make my skin break out. So I'm assuming it's good. But I just have to apply a thick layer to moist skin and then allow it to dry for 20 minutes. So I'm going to apply it with this makeup brush. And I feel like, you know, like that girl is the type of person that puts on a face mask and is all like perfect. So I'm going to try to do that. Let's see what happens. I did it. <laughs> um, I don't know if it looks that good. Anyhow, I'm going to let this dry and then wash it off soon and then do like my skincare. But I honestly feel really good. It's only 9.26 and this is like the usual time I wake up on summer days and it's the weekend. So I probably won't even have to wake up until like 10 or 11. But we've already got so much done. My body feels good. I'm just going to chill for this 20 minutes and then I will see you guys after. But next, I want to do some makeup. Not too much, just like a natural look. I also want to cover up these red spots because they're like, they're not bothering me, but like it's bad. Like they're really red. Let's just see if a little concealer can help. But I feel like that girl <laughs> like has their natural makeup look down that they can just do easily every single day. I don't really know guys. I'm kind of just like making up this girl in my head. I think that's why this trend is so controversial is because you either find this girl really motivating and inspiring or you can find it kind of toxic and think their life is too perfect or something like that. I think I'm going to talk about this later in the video like at the end when I like finish the trend. But just a reminder that no one's life is perfect and don't believe everything that you see on social media because everyone is struggling with something. Even if they look like they're living their best lives, like trust me, everyone has problems. Everyone has insecurities. Oh gosh, yeah, that could be like a whole different topic. But like just from like personal experience, like I'm going to be honest with y'all, this week I cried three or four nights out of this week. Which is a good amount, you know, and sometimes I just get really overwhelmed because I'm stressing and worrying about what is to come Like what my week ahead is looking like and what I have to do So just to give you all a little perspective like no one's life is perfect And sometimes I think social media can make it look like that But but just try to focus on your own life Don't compare yours to a different person's and focus on your own happiness. Okay <laughs> Anyways this concealer did a lot. I don't look sunburned anymore. Um, what else can I talk about? My favorite artist right now is Doja Cat. <laughs> I feel like you either really like Doja Cat or you don't. Or maybe that's just my guy friends because whenever I play Doja Cat, they're like, turn it off, Nicole. But I personally love her and I like her new album. It's like a mix between hip hop, like slower songs. I just, I think it's a vibe. Let's do some blush. You know what I can't believe? It's not even 12 yet. It's 9.50 right now. And I just, I just, I don't know. It's so early to me. Highlighter is so fun. <laughs> I enjoy putting it on so much. If you put it like right here, it just, automatically brightens up your eyes. I also put it on my nose. Next we have eyebrows. Ooh, you know what I'm excited for? I feel like there are a lot of TV shows that are dropping new seasons, like on Netflix. Outer Banks, that's coming out in July. I think like the end of July. OBX was so freaking good, especially last year in quarantine. Like everyone was watching it. I forget what other series are coming out, but I know there's just like a lot, but I'm doing mascara next. Oh gosh. Great. <laughs> That looks so bad. Okay, how do I even... I've seen this trick. Okay. And lastly, some lip gloss. Here is the finished makeup. <laughs> hey. I'm in the car, guys. Oh and gosh. guess who drove to Starbucks? <laughs> Me. If you didn't know, I have my permit. So I'm like trying to practice driving now. So this Starbucks is like, what? Two minutes away from my house? So I drove here. How did I do, mom? Um, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> this is like my second time. Yeah, no, you just have to keep driving and getting used to it because yeah, yeah. you're having a hard time staying in a lane. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going slow and trying yeah. to learn, so. Yeah, you just got to get comfortable and you're not yet. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But I got a matcha from Starbucks, so I'm going to go inside. And oh, yeah, there's... 
It's weird though, I'm in the driver's seat now, guys. Story time, the first time that I ever drove, <laughs> I drove from my church to a restaurant that my family and I were going to, four miles, which is a good amount for my first time driving. And it was kind of stressful because my mom yelled at me, so I started crying, <laughs> but I got us there, so. Got him. I watched a few videos on like this girl trend and usually I think people make their matcha instead of just getting it from Starbucks But I personally don't have like the matcha thingy at home So I get it from Starbucks and these are really good and the last thing on my agenda is to get some work done So first I have to finish editing a video I still have a good amount left So I think it's gonna take me like two hours and then also I'm taking my summer course So I just have to do a bunch of reading today So I brought my stuff down into the dining table because sometimes I do work in my bed But then I get distracted really easily like I'll go on my phone or I'll lay down watch Netflix at my dining table can't really do that so I'm just here and I plan on staying here for a little bit let's do this And to conclude this video, we're gonna have a little chat on what I think about this trend. So as I mentioned earlier, it's a little controversial because some people think it's like toxic of thinking of this ideal girl and it's like bad for little girls to think they have to do that. In my opinion, I wanna look at the good side of it. Like today I was so productive. I woke up and started doing things like this. I got a bunch of things done and it was only like in a few hours. So I would say that's really positive and it definitely motivated me to just like get up and start doing things. I guess it is a little toxic to have a mindset of like you have to do this every single day you know be the perfect girl with the perfect life again no one is perfect no one's life is perfect i think that took me a bit to learn too like on social media because it really does like everyone looks like they have a perfect life but truly no one does so i guess those are my thoughts on it just look at the good side of it just be productive and live your best life thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure to like go comment down below subscribe turn on my post notifications and go cop some coli merch i will see y'all back with another video i love you guys so so much stay positive Bye! Mwah.